What's up girls? It's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my favourite video to film. It is a Halloween. Oh, it's that time of year again. Ghouls. Sorry if I keep touching this hat. I feel like no matter how I wear it, it looks weird on camera. Okay. Yes. It's that time of year again. It's spooky time. Today is... August 22nd and there's already things in stores so like I said it's August so far usually it's getting earlier and earlier each year that stores seem to have things um, but it doesn't really pick up in the UK until October and then um, like Asda has things like B&M, Home Bargains, um, Tiger is usually quite good for Halloween things and then um, H&M and New Look will have like some clothes, some socks and Victoria's Secret usually does some underwear so um, it's just all about getting out there and scavenging for bargains. Um, one Instagram account I would definitely recommend for knowing where to get things is um, Goffin in my coffin. I'll link her Instagram below. She posts as soon as there's something Halloween somewhere, she posts it on her story. She is, you know, she's there. So before I jump into the haul, um, I will address a couple of things. So my background's different again from my last video. Still can't decide, but I felt like this was fitting for a Halloween video. I have a chest tattoo. Don't think I've shown that on this channel before. Um, I'm going to film a whole separate video on that because I'm getting it finished some point, hopefully in the spooky season, um, I need to book it in. But yeah, so I'll address this whole situation in another video. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say before we jump into this. Oh, um, this isn't going to be my only haul of the year, hopefully. Anyway, um, I just wanted to group all my August stuff together because each year I tend to make the mistake where I'll buy things, Halloween things, in shops, I'll see it. And instead of like using it or putting it up or doing whatever with it, I put it in a pile and I leave it and leave it and leave it and I think right I'm going to film that, I'm going to film it, I'm going to film it and then the season just gets away with me, I get super busy, it never gets filmed and then I don't put it up and I don't use it and then a year goes by and I think well I didn't use that thing and it really bugs me so I've still got um, in my drawer in my kitchen I've got tea towels I never use with the tags on, I've got spatulas I never use and like, things like that because I haven't like got it out and taken it out of the packet because I was ready to show it and then I just never ended up showing it and it really really irritates me but yeah how stupid like I buy things and then I don't use them because I'm waiting to film it like so stupid so I'm just going to do it in blocks so this is over the course of the last like three weeks I would say um, and then that's it for August I'm telling myself that's it I need to slow down and wait and then I'll do a September one and an October one. Before this turns into a three hour long video, let's jump into the haul. So I'm gonna start with the stuff from Next because there's not a lot of it because they didn't really have a lot. They might get more later, I'm not sure, but these are just the little bits I picked up. So I'm going to show you the footage of me opening it, maybe if it's not rubbish. So I'll pop that in here. Okay, so I just picked this up from town and I'm so excited. I think the audio is going to be really loud on this, sorry. Okay, so these are my two parcels. I'm so excited. So let's start with this one. How cute is my little knife? I love it. Oh my god, how cute. Oh my god, these are so cute. And now on to this bad boy. Cute, it's like a mummy pumpkin and two baby pumpkins. So as you saw, I got the two little ramkins. I think that's how you say it, I don't really know. I used to work in a restaurant, I don't know how to say it. Um, so yeah, it's just a super tiny little pumpkin dish. The colour of the orange is perfect. Yeah, this is what it looks like. And then obviously you take the lid off. They're really little, I feel like. I want to make like a little cookie cake or something. I just feel like it needs to be a little cookie. Or you could make little pies in there. You could just make individual little things. I feel like these are going to be so cute. 
at Samhain when we have a, um, I tend to make like a big feast for Samhain um, on the 31st and Jake and I will sit at the table and eat and we get out like fatty plates and cups and have wine, have good food, have candles so I feel like this is going to be so cute to like serve up maybe some like, I'm feeling like some pickled red cabbage or something in these little dishes, I just feel like it would be adorable. Oh my, oh my god, a little mini pumpkin pie! how cute okay maybe i'll do that but yeah i've talked way too much but this is cute and that was 14 pound for the two together and the other one that i showed in the unboxing is the bigger casserole dish i'm really concerned about it being white because i feel like a lot of the um like casseroles and things i make are very like tomato based and i really don't want it to get stained and this i don't think i'm going to use this frequently because i'm really worried about it being ruined um so I think again this is going to be like a Samhain type thing where I only get it out for Sabbaths, maybe Maven as well. Um, probably Yule, let's be honest. I love a pumpkin any time of year. Um, I feel like this would be cute to display things in, but I mean maybe not the same without the top. But this is probably going to be something I keep out on the side all year round. Um, yeah, I just think it's so cute. It was kind of pricey, £20. Um, which is more than I would pay for a casserole dish usually, but I think this one's super cute, so yeah. Okay, so everything else I'm going to show you is from TK Maxx slash HomeSense. I've been to two different stores and both of them are like a blend of TK Maxx and HomeSense. So the first thing I picked up this year is a candle. So I'm going to show you the one I got last year. It's Apple Pumpkin. I don't know if anything's going to focus, probably not. Yeah, it's apple pumpkin and the lid is a super cute gold pumpkin and this is the best smelling candle I've ever smelled in my life. Yeah, it was quite cheap because it's really small and it was the best smelling thing of my life. I would burn it every single day. Obviously it's not very big so it ran out and I was never able to find a big one. This was the only one I found in this brand. So this year I found, they've put the stick in stupidest place um, it's a different brand so this, um, this brand is oh my god it's the same brand DW home but the print is different it's the same candle I mean, I bought it because it smelled the same, but yeah, DW Home, this is what the sticker looks like on the front, like I said, they've put the price sticker right over the front, which is really annoying, it was £5.99, um, this one was white, but this one's red, I don't know, oh, it just smells so good, I love pumpkin scents, I know they're not for everyone, I know some people can find them too sweet, but there is nothing like getting home after a day of work, burning a pumpkin candle, drinking a chai latte, listening to, there's this one playlist on YouTube, it's the best, it's like Halloween songs from like the 1910s and 20s, I'm gonna link it below, you are just spirited away into the Halloween place of your dreams, I can't even recommend it enough, listen to the playlist, burn your pumpkin candle, drink your chai latte, you're in heaven. Okay, I picked up these salt and pepper shakers oh my god how cute these were 3 dollars for the two they have so many different ones um in tk maxx this year they've got little like day of the dead ones they've got um some little cat ones some dog ones um little gravestone ones but these are my favorite because they're black and white super simple super chic and they're just so cute then i picked up packaging's a bit bent these two spatulas so we've got this one with a moon on it and it comes with a moon cookie cutter and then this one with a cobweb and it comes with a spider cookie cutter these were 3.99 each these are just so cute i just i can't not buy halloween kitchen items they're my favorite i use them all year round i tend to look for things that i can use all the time use consistently and are just going to make my house spooky halloween town all year round um, yes, they had quite a few of these. There's none left in my store now and I haven't seen them in other stores. <clears throat> so these were really popular, but I imagine they're just going to keep putting things like this out for the rest of the spooky season. So keep checking your TK Maxx stores and hopefully 
you'll be able to grab some because these are so cute. And, um, next up are some water bottles. So the first one is this silver one with these little black scared cats all over them. So, so cute. I'm really hoping this is in focus. So this was $7.99, a little bit pricey for a water bottle, but these are the double insulated ones. So if your water's cold, it is gonna stay cold for the longest time. You can put hot drinks in them too, but I wouldn't drink a hot drink out of a bottle. Um, and then I picked up this one, which has a different lid. So the other one was screw top, but this is like, it's got like a little handle and then it's got a, um, a spout, a mouthpiece, I don't know what it's called, but um, Jake and I really like going for walks, especially in the new forest, and his water bottle has like a little, you can hold it like this, and if your bottle is really cold, you don't want to be holding a cold bottle, plus the more you hold it, the more it warms up, so he can just carry his around like this, living the dream, but I didn't have that, so I was like, I need this for when we go on our walks, um, so I'm really excited, again this is a double wall insulated one, and it's just got cobwebs all over it, $7.99 as well, and they have so many different types of these in TK Maxx at the minute, so definitely check those out. Then I bought this mug stack, this was one of the first things I purchased, and I am in love with it. This was the only one I saw on the shelf, I didn't see any more, it's $9.99 for four mugs, so $2.50 a mug is such a good price. Um, and I just love, this is gonna be a cute display piece all year round. And then the inside of the mugs are bright orange, which just warms my Halloween heart. And I feel like the size of the mug, they're quite little, and I feel like it's gonna be great for just like your first coffee of the morning, just a cute little mug. And, oh my God, I've been dying to open these, rinse them out and use them. Um, so I'm happy I finally filmed this so I can put everything in its place. But yeah, I'm in love with these. I think these are so cute. And then there's like this weird little, skull guy on the side so I'll probably keep that but yeah I love these and Jake loves them and I feel like we can just have our cute little spooky coffee together and I'm so excited. The next thing I got again for the kitchen, you girls obsessed, can't stop, won't stop, um, is this uh, fruit bowl. Um, so I have one of these already on my kitchen side but it's plastic and I bought it from like Poundland or something and it served me well until now but if you have a lot of apples and whatever it pushes down on the plastic and bends it and distorts it um, and it just looks a bit cheap whereas this one is metal and it's got like actual spiders on it. I don't know if you're able to see, there you go, little spiddly friend. So it was $5.99 and I just love it so much, I think it's so cute. I think that's it for kitchen stuff, I think I got myself under control. So the next thing I bought, I bought this the other day with my older sister, it's a little black like velvety velour cat and it just reminded me of Pumpkin, my cat, so I had to buy it, she's so cute and I love her, I don't want to put my face on it because I'll get foundation everywhere, but when I got it home I thought, these are really hard to keep clean because they just retain dust like a mother fudger. So that's kind of annoying, but I mean, she's worth it. She was $6.99, she's an all year rounder. The next thing I got is this cute witchy lady. She was $12.99. There was a bigger one that was $24.99, but she wasn't that much bigger. So I didn't see the point in spending double the money for something not as big. But I love her orange dress. I love her crystal ball. I love her blue lipstick. I love her hair. They had something like this similar a couple of years ago and I didn't buy it and I really, really regretted it. Um, so I'm really glad I managed to get myself a spooky witch. I don't know where she's gonna go yet, but I love her so much, she's so cute. The next thing is a piece that I have seen all over Facebook, I've seen all over Instagram, Twitter, everyone is obsessed with this, and I feel really bad for the people who aren't able to find it in their stores, but that happens to me every goddamn year. So it was my turn to find the hit item of the year. <laughs> this is the cat blanket. Oh, it's upside down. $9.99 for this. First of all, it is softer than I don't even know. It's just soft, okay? And it's got a little witch cat, a ghost cat, a pumpkin cat, a bat cat. Oh, I love it. They had a dog one, but cats. So yeah, I'm so happy with this. I'm gonna have it on my sofa. I can't wait to snuggle underneath this, smell my pumpkin candle, watch Halloween Town. I'm so live for Halloween. I feel like my Halloween videos 
my personality really comes out because I just get so excited. The last thing for my video is a super cute cushion. And of course it's upside down. Of course it is. Home sweet haunted home. Oh, I love it so much. I love that it's grey, monochrome. They had some orange ones which I did think were cute, but they may be a bit colourful for me. Um, and one said, like, you call me witch like it's a bad thing, and I kind of thought that was a bit like, eh. I've seen the witches in, cute. I've seen the ones with big skeletons across, but they were a bit too big for me, I feel, and I don't want too much skeleton. But this, I felt, was the perfect amount of cute, spook, classy, I just love it. It's really, really hard to find Halloween cushions in the UK but I managed to find it, it's 12 99 which, you know, it's a big cushion, so I'm not mad about the price, but yeah, I love it, and I can't wait for it to be on my sofa. Let's just have it and just be spooky and cute. That is everything that I've got from my August haul. Hopefully I'll have a September one and an October one, but if they get too big, I may do mini ones, not entirely sure. At the moment, my TK Maxx has dried up and it's pretty crap, so I'm waiting. Oh my god, no, there's more, I forgot. I didn't show you my plates. So, more kitchen stuff, can't be stopped. I bought some little dinner plates, but not dinner plates, these are like side plates, they're smaller. So, again, the sticker is in the most god awful place. TK Maxx, why do you do this to me? So, that worked. So, it's two little skeletons digging graves outside a church, like, oh my god, it's so cute. And then the other one is skeletons at a restaurant and the menu says Bon Appetit. So cute. I am in love with these. I think they're so cute. I love, like I've said a hundred times, spooky things that I can use all year round. I was really sad they didn't have any big dinner plates and they didn't have any bowls. They literally just had these. So I'm hoping that like next week or the week after, whatever, they're gonna have more things like this in stock because the girl's obsessed. And I love spooky kitchenware. So yeah, love these. I bought two of these ones and two of these ones. So I can have a cute little set of four, even though there's only two of us that live here, but still. So that is the end of this haul. Kind of sad it's come to an end, but my bank account's probably happy it's come to an end. I'm sure that will be. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know down below. Tell me what bargains you've managed to snag. Tell me what Halloween stuff you've got. And if there's any stores in the UK that have Halloween stuff out, please let me know. And if any of you comment Spirit Halloween, I would die. Do you know how badly I want to go to Spirit Halloween? I would sell my soul to the devil to go to Spirit Halloween. I want to go so bad. Don't cry over America. It's okay. It's okay. I feel like everyone in the UK can relate to the struggle. But anyway, let's be grateful that we do have some spook spook in the UK. Let's be grateful for what we've got. Grateful we can afford to buy Halloween goodies. We love Halloween. We love a grateful queen. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Look out for more spooky Halloween content coming soon because your girl is feeling the full vibes. Okay. Until next time, stay spooky, stay rad, and yeah, bye.